Hello, it's your boy Davidoff. So back in 2015, when I started doing YouTube, I was struggling for video ideas. I was struggling, but a guy called Dan Yao that I knew on Twitter, he came up with this idea. Twitter career mode. Basically, I got people from Twitter I was talking to in group chats, and um, for each player that took part, they get to create their own player. I create the player, but they choose their stats. They send me the player name, height, shirt number. They choose all their individual stats, and I make the player for them. And I get this squad of people, it was 16 in this one I think, get the squad of people, put them into a team on FIFA and start a career with that team and play a season, see what happens, try in the Champions League. In FIFA 16 it was Atletico Madrid and we won the Champions League, uh, Copa del Rey and La Liga as well. So this was the first season, the first six episodes. This came later on as a season two, uh, but this was a great time. And uh, this was the first series that really like kicked off my channel and it motivated me more to make more videos. So uh, if this didn't work out, then I might have stopped. Who knows? Who knows what could have happened? But I think this was a key moment for my channel because this is what made me want to make more content in general. So uh, I appreciate this uh, series a lot. And uh, this series, uh, a lot of people watched it as well for its time. My channel was like really small, it was, like 50 subscribers or something, something smaller than that I think. And uh, these videos did quite well, so uh, only the OGs remember this series. It was a long, long time ago. And then there was Football Twitter Pro Club, so a, a person on this team came up with the idea for a Pro Club series, and uh, we did one. We mixed from this team and also invited other people as well, because some people, some people had X, some people had Xbox, some people were interested, like. Some people who took part in this were interested but had Xbox, not PS4. So I couldn't do it with them, but like half the team had PS4. So we got those people, plus we got more people from other, other parts of Twitter. Like I tweeted it out like, who wants to take part? And I got some random people. And um, yeah, this series was massive as well, 105 episodes. It was great. So these two things, like this, this started off the chain. Then it was this. Then I got a new camera. Then I started doing some personal vlogs. People love those, start growing a bit more. Then I did AFL, and AFL just smashed through my channel. It was awesome, it, like my channel skyrocketed in a way. I mean, not that much to be fair, but I still gained quite a lot compared to what I already had. So for me, it was crazy. For me, it was like, oh my word, this is, this is mad. Then after AFL, it was Arsenal vlogs that started getting popular, and then it was Q and A's as well. So, uh, but yeah, this started off that chain. So I'm grateful. You know, because getting a new camera was one of the reasons, was one of the things that I was motivated to do after this series. And getting a camera really led to reaction videos, led to AFL, so uh, a key moment. And then came this. Probably my favourite YouTube series that I've done on this channel, honestly. This, this is my favourite. We did a Road to Glory, we had 30 people. We had 32, but the limit was 50. The limit was 30 on the game, so I couldn't like do anything about it. The limit for a squad is 30, so um, the other two had to miss out. But we had a 30-man squad, 42 episodes plus best moments. It went from September to March. We were in Blackpool. We were League Two, so fourth division of English football. Got promoted, 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 promoted. Got to the Premier League, then won the Champions League as well. A full load, a full road to glory. Like all those leagues, we climbed up and up the ladder, and it was fantastic to do. I love this series. This FIFA 17 one. Bloody amazing. Bloody amazing. And um, you know what? One day I'm going to rewatch this. Genuinely, one day I'm going to just watch the whole thing. Uh, it would just be majestic to rewatch this one in particular. Then came this one. Probably the weakest one, to be honest. Didn't enjoy this as much as the rest, but this is AC Milan. So I did. Um, I did Atletico Madrid, Spanish League. And then I did. England, obviously, into into the Premier League, and I did Serie A in FIFA 8 in AC Milan. Then I did the Bundesliga with Schalke. So there we go. And this was a lot. Of, this was very enjoyable. Had some intense game as well, and uh, this was really good to make. And then we got to this Ajax Super League, FIFA 20, for the first time ever. Did it in live stream modes, and it's seven episodes long. And for people that couldn't watch those, I made a uh, a highlights version of it, 12 episodes long. And uh, yeah, I really appreciate 
everyone who took part, FIFA 16, 17, 18, 19 and 20. There's two people that took part in 16, 17, 18 and 19. Neither one took part in 20, so uh, yeah, sometimes you outgrow some people. But uh, still, still, you know, this is a series that means a lot to me and I'm glad to have done it all these years. But it has to come to an end. Everything comes to an end. Good things and bad things. And this year, this comes to an end. The series is over. I hope you enjoyed this one. And if you watched the others, I hope you enjoyed those as well. And thank you to everyone. To all the squads of the five seasons that took part. I've loved making this series. I really have. But I've done all, I've done all the leagues now. I wanted to do um, England, Italy, Spain. Um, England, Italy, Spain and Germany. Not France. I wanted to do those those big four um and that was it really i can't really do it. i don't want to do it for the sake of it like uh but i've done all the leagues i wanted to do so uh there's no point in continuing plus on top of that fifa 20 might be my last fifa to be honest um it's because i'm more into other games now anyway plus like defending on fifa is just it's been annoying to me since like fifa fifa 14 fifa 15 so i just I can't be arsed sometimes. That's that's all I'm saying. Tactical defending is a nightmare. I, I prefer the Pez defensive style, but the Pez gameplay is not as good, so it's just a lose lose for me. But either way, Rocket League's the best football game. Fight me on that. Anyway, as I said, thank you for taking part. This is your boy Davidoff. Please like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a good day and see ya.